Hey, good morning, guys. This is Gabriel here at GoFlame Drunk Removal today. So we are in Salisbury, North Carolina. Um, we are doing a house clean out, and I wouldn't call it a, I guess it is kind of a full house clean out, but it's not too bad, not too much stuff um, as far as this goes, as far as the house clean out goes. But so first we have this couch right here, which is in this front area, this front patio area. Step into the patio area. We got this trash right here. And the guy, the, the tenant that lived here that, that took his stuff, he, he got mostly everything. So he got, for the most part, he got everything. And we're just coming in and kind of doing a quick clean for the property. So that the people that hired us can actually come in here and do their renovations or whatever they're gonna do. They can go ahead and get started on that. Got this room. Now at the back of the property, there was a homeless person staying here. So out here, in like a little shed that's attached to the building. Anybody here? Oh, denounce yourself. So yeah, this is a homeless encampment in here. The, the tenant that was staying here had a homeless person staying with them for free, I guess a friend or family member or whatever. Got TV, I mean, reeks of urine. So he just peed in bottles everywhere. So pretty disgusting. Everything that's out here in the yard has to go to so the trampoline, the tables, all the trash out here. All the trash over here on the side over there has to go as well. The scatter trash. So, yeah, let's get to work. Hey guys, so we're doing our first load today. Um, uh, we're headed to the dump now. You're going to dump the trailer. Um, we're not going to go to the dump closest to here because um, it's actually kind of like, I mean, it's a, both of them are landfills, but the one that we that we will go to closer down here is more of like a, like on dirt and stuff like that as uh, opposed to the one that we use. At the stop sign, field. turn left onto Moxville Avenue. Concrete, you know, you dump it on concrete and then they take it and put it in a dumpster and take it up the hill. So yeah, we're gonna go dump there in Statesville and then uh, we'll be back to get load two. Um, it's probably gonna be, probably gonna be about two, two and a half loads. Um, you know, cause we still have to clean the yard and then he wanted me to, to kind, he asked me to have a weed eater. I said I did, so he wanted me to kind of weed eat around the property and just make it look a little bit better. But until they can get back, you know, and, and start doing the, the construction on the, on the property. But yeah, we'll go, we're gonna go dump and then we'll be right back. Hey guys, boom, so second load is done. Um, this is by far um, the nastiest job we've ever done, um, ever. It was disgusting, especially that the house wasn't, the house was normal, but that little uh, encampment or whatever was disgusting. They had bottles filled with pee. I mean, they probably, I mean, it was probably 75 to 100 bottles full of urine that we had to pour out. Um, and some of the bottles didn't have tops on them, so they were falling over and stuff like that. So. Um, definitely a very disgusting job. One of the worst we've done. 
um, as far as smell goes. They had a few bags of trash, different trash cans that were um, very, you know, that smelled, that smelled very bad. Um, so yeah, this is this is the worst one by far, but we got it done. Um, we went ahead and got the house come finished, got the um, the uh, encampment, um, homeless person encampment cleaned out that was in the shed out there. Um, and now we just have the outside. So when I get back, I'm gonna bring my little push mower because I told the owner I would do a little bit of um, grass cutting or you know trimming or whatever um, just to help them out. So I'm gonna bring that back. We're gonna you know get the grass a little bit lower. Um, finish uh, taking apart the trampoline and the little tables and then pick up all the small trash outside. Um, me and my wife are actually talking about charging um, charging an extra fee. So we're thinking about charging an extra fee of the hazmat that was on the property. Um, all that urine and stuff, we, we should have charged them more. So I'm thinking we probably will, we probably will add another 150 bucks, $150 fee for hazmat, which means our equipment um, and stuff that we would usually bring, which is gloves and one of those full hazmat suits, that's what we usually bring. Um, but uh, we didn't take a good enough look when I came to look at it. The sheriff was there, so I was just trying to take a good look around. I didn't really think about it. Um, but yeah, we're, we're gonna add that onto there because we didn't, you couldn't really see how much urine was under a tarp. And it was, I mean, it, like 75 to 100 at least. Um, so yeah, that's it. We're here to go do our third load um, to dump our second load and, and come back and finish up with our third. So yeah, but as you guys can see, before I close this out, all this is clean in here. This in here, this room is clean. Come in here. That room is clean. And the dining room and the kitchen area, clean. All right, let's get back to it. Hey guys, so we are back at the house now. Um, and I did not finish, I, didn't, I did not get a chance to finish the video because um, the, it was not the best neighborhood, number one. Um, and there were a lot of people starting to gather and, um, you know, uh, have a party or whatever. So we wanted just to get the job done, get out of there um, to avoid anything. Um, you know, especially just keeping your head on a swivel when you're kind of in neighborhoods you're not familiar with. Um, kind of keep moving, especially when you're, you know, cleaning somebody out that they might have known or that, you know, that, that got evicted. Um, you don't want to be sitting in that situation, especially when the sheriff um, is not present. So um, we didn't get to record us cleaning out, cleaning out the yard and uh, trimming, you know, weed trimming and all that stuff. Um, but we weeded around the house, all the tall grass we got rid of so that they could um, could be able to uh, at least get in there and be able to move around. Um, and then, uh, again, we cleaned up the whole field and everything and finished cleaning, um, cleaning out the, um, the homeless encampment. Um, there's a couple things. Number one, uh, even though it was a very nasty job, we're still blessed to get it. Um, still blessed to be able to help people. And again, um, you know, working for yourself and the amount of money that we make, you know, doing these jobs is equivalent to some people, you know, two or three weeks of working you know, at a nine to five job. And we make that in one day in six or seven hours, just knocking it out and getting it done. Now, yes, it's disgusting. And we want to, uh, you know, know our worth and don't do anything for cheap. Um, but also sometimes you have to bite the bullet. You know, I didn't see all the urine and stuff like that. So what I did was I did not charge the investor that used us. Um, I did not charge him the extra hazardous fee because um, it really is my fault. When you go to do an estimate, you got to take a good look. If, if that means you need to bring gloves with you and lift some stuff or look or whatever, that's what you need to do. And I didn't do that. So I did not charge him the extra $150. But from now on, what me and Aaliyah think we're going to do is, um, which we got to finish, you know, putting it on our sock and everything. But we think we're going to we're going to do $100 per bedroom. So if it's a three bed, two bath house and it's hazardous, then we're going to charge an extra three hundred dollars or three hundred fifty bucks something like that per job um to to be able to for it to make sense for us having to go out and get the extra hazardous suit and the extra gloves and the and the better respirators and stuff like that to be able to do the job um and then number three of course um you know in invest in the relationship so if you find an investor friend somebody who is you know um for instance this these people that we're working with um they are doing, you know, 10 to 15 flips a year. Now, I know for a fact when you're in 
when you're in investing, a lot of times you're going to investor meetups, you're going to, uh, you know, you're talking with real estate agents, things like that. So if you're doing a good job um, and you're making their life as easy as possible, you will get more jobs. It's that simple. Um, there have been agents that I've that I've helped and the easier, you know, the easier I make life on them, uh, the better it is, meaning uh, not making them have to drive all the way here or there or any way that you can help them to, to make their life easier. Do it. Um, and you will get more jobs, especially someone like this who, you know, they have money. You're doing 10 to 15 flips a year. You know, you're making some good money. And so, um, you know, they're not going to, you know, lowball you or cut you. These guys, these, these investors, you know, if you give them a set price and you say a per load price, half the time they don't care anyway. They just want to get it done, get it cleaned out so they can start doing their um, their construction. Um, but they pay good. They don't argue with you. They, they, they understand what you're doing. Um, and so again, when you find these people, uh, find these investors and real estate agents and, you know, whoever, uh, or recurring clients that have helped you out and given you business, um, make sure you treat them well, make sure, you know, you cut them a deal here and there to let them know that you appreciate them just as much as, you know, they appreciate you. Um, but yeah, that's it. I, I'm sorry that I did not get to record. Um, and especially the earlier, the, the earlier part of the video, um, I have to get better at, at recording um my videos when i'm out and i'm showing you guys so i might try and hopefully maybe find like a body cam or something where i can put my camera on my chest or on my head or whatever um to try and make the video make the video better but yeah thank you guys for watching the video please like comment subscribe if you guys enjoyed it and uh i'll talk to you again next time see you